Welcome to the Effects Loop. I'm Spence Peppard, filling in for Jonathan Diaz today. He was unavailable. I have a special guest, and I would like to introduce him to you. This is Jonathan Diaz. Great to have you on the show, Jonathan. That's right. Seven years, eh? <laughs> That's right. We <laughs> I bet that's an amazing episode. It, it doesn't exist. It's not there. It's, it's oh, so it's not finished yet? Oh. Well, uh... I, I, I didn't test well in school, so I'm probably not going to follow that one. That's not That's possible. That's not how it works, guys. <laughs> Jonathan! <laughs> A crazy old man did one time. Well, let me tell you, with all this time travel and stuff, I'm honored to actually be here with the two of you. And uh, Welcome to the future. Welcome Curtis. to the future. Or, or wherever we are. Yeah, we've exchanged only like 393 emails. Or te text messages, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I was just trying. I was lost, and I'd left um, of two fistfuls of brochures that I was looking to throw away here at Nam. And, uh, and, yeah, and I stumbled upon Jonathan. No, that's not true. We're, we are NAM. 20, it, what year is this for them? 2019? Good question. 2120. <laughs> and we're still using active pickups in 2120. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But it's, uh, mine are solar powered, so I have to leave my guitar out in the sun all day. And it has been heck on the finish. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, there is. You know what would be great? Is you when you come to Nam, the first day, there's usually a booth or two that are unoccupied because a lot of people come on Fridays. I, I would love to have a whole pedal board of kazoo pedals for the electric kazoo and just set up a fake demo station and just see how long you can get away with it well it's yeah brilliant it's oh. not a bad idea delay and then fuzz no no Really? Is that a new launch for for the show? Oh, okay. Right. Right. Oh, hey. By the way, of, of Harmony, what's the deal with uh, with their rebirth, with the relaunch? Do we know much about their their rebrand? Okay. The, the color the the color palette is incredible. It's soft, yeah. Right. 
Oh. Yeah. The rebirth of harmony. Oh, we were we Is were it, talking about it before, and then I interrupted you, so I apologize. Are we? I'm lost. What what year is it right now? <laughs> I've seen Curtis here, and I'm I'm a little embarrassed to say that I have not played a set of his pickups yet. Oh, That's about mercy. to change. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we can make that happen for sure. Well, that's got to happen because all I've heard is Lambertone, Lambertone, Lambertone. Spence, why don't you have any Lambertones yet? And uh, and that's because I've been playing drums a lot lately, and I haven't figured out a way to make magnetic pickups. You know, transfer tom and kick drum signal very well. Apart from that, I've got to have a set. So I hope you brought enough for me to give you a mon- monies for pickups. Let's do it, man. Okay. Can I we can do? Can we it. do that right now? Yes. Like the sound of me shuffling. <laughs> Actually, it's funny. I was just talking with Jonathan Sullivan last night, and uh, we were doing a pickup install in our Airbnb for two of his guitars. Were you really? Yeah, we were. And we were we were doing a, a podcast episode where uh, we were contemplating starting a service where we would... Yes, that's right. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Great stuff. Kemper curious. Speaking of Kemper, aren't we all curious about what they just uh, released this I morning? A little bit that. of footage on what could be coming on July 24th. Could it be a floor unit? Could it be a floor unit? I've got the I've had the toaster for a long time, but a floor unit would be incredible. For fly dates, it would be a game changer. I love that term, fly date, because it makes me sound like I'm important, and I'm not. You are important, Spence. But fly dates. <laughs> a, a, a broke musician knew who I was at Nam. Who hadn't? It, it. <laughs> Jonathan, I, we're gonna we're gonna introduce you to some people and teach you about life goals, and they won't include me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, speaking of made it, my whole my whole goal that started out as a joke, but now I actually it would be really amazing if it actually happened, is to sell a set to North Korea, like because I, I I keep track of all the geographic locations of where we send sets all over the world, yeah. and uh, we've had three views from North Korea, which I don't know how is possible yeah, with the internet. It's got to be guys in government. Maybe yeah, maybe Kim Kim Jong Un is checking out cremas. <laughs> Or maybe someone was on a trip and they tethered. <laughs> hey, what, what you, you could do a signature set for Kim Jong Un. I'd be happy to. And they're just you plug it in and it's just loud racket. And there's, just, there's no nuance whatsoever. Anyway, but in case the, anyone is worried about Lambertones going anywhere, we're not going anywhere until we sell a set to North Korea. So until that happens, we'll be here. It's going to happen. <laughs> it's going to happen. No.
Yeah. Oh, I, I did see that. Yeah. 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 Is it really? 16,000. Wow. So there's two digits and then a comma. Okay. So my question yeah, is, that works. do they wind their own pickups? It's not even their own pickups. Wow. Okay. Oh, really? Antiquities. Antiquities in a $16,000 okay, guitar. Let, let, me, let me go ahead and tell you this. The guitar that your pickups are going to go in, mm -hmm. I'm replacing the Antiquities well, with your pickups. Yeah, that was a build. <laughs> well, I'm honored to be considered in the future for your guitar. Well, yeah. And I'm honored to be in two of your guitars. And depending on where we are in time right now, that may be in the past. That's true. I may already have them. Yeah. Let's talk about fly dates, guys. Fly dates. I got this board for my fly day. Let's talk about Gibson. Let's talk about Gibson. Uh, well, I'll say this. I, I'm going to say a positive about Gibson. I just bought the gloss top. I don't know that that's what they call it, but it's, it's a gloss top G45. Got to play a couple of them, but those guitars are not bad for the money. The stage is kind of cool. Well, their their display in general is just impressive with how many guitars they have. What do you think? They have 200 guitars? Probably. But what's going to be really impressive is whenever I take my shirt off and run through the booth with a Dean banner. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all stick around for that. <laughs> really? Still, yeah. And what was his reaction? There's always got to be that person, and I'm really glad you fulfilled that to Vince Gill. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about that. I mean, isn't it time to move on? I'm, I'm, I'm a catch. I'm a catch. Yeah, on a scale from 1 to 1.3, how do you feel about the way I look, Vince? <laughs> oh, really? I, I'm, well, I'm the only person here without a light, without a life. Um... Well, it is 2120, so it's been, a, it's, we've been sitting here for a while. 
I just hope that the... Uh, I'll tell you what's going to be around in the year 5150. Ooh. It's n- not going to be Eddie Van Halen. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, before we go... Well, let's not go yet. Can we? Can we... Can we just take a moment of silence for about 14 minutes? <laughs> well, I think I think 1988 rolled around, and it it went out. Oh, was it? Oh man, man, solid. <laughs> Let me ask Curtis a question. Yeah, Curtis, as the best guitar builder in the building right now. I mean, guitar pickup manufacturer oh, s- in the building. It. The best. Don't you hate being... I, I love it when people would say that from the stage. And the best guitar player, and then I just fall off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way it goes. But no, I mean, I, I've had... I was over in Pro Audio a little while ago, and I literally had three guys come up and talk about you. So as the... Um, premier pickup builder here at NAM. Have you seen anything? No, I it I I, I even uh, lost my train of thought because I was so impressed with the way I introduced him. <laughs> I have heard your name so many times in the last days. I cannot not have a set of Lambertones when I leave here. But have you seen anything here at NAM, that's kind of knocked your socks off? You know, that's a really great question. Um, I, th- you know, yesterday, uh, Brian and Bradford of Worship Tutorials, yes. they were doing a uh, talk on Kemper and um, Axe Effects um, in the worship industry. And then there was another presenter right after them that was the designer and pretty much the whole brain and, and hands behind the Waza amp. Uh, tube amp expander and his walkthrough of the details on how that device works and why why it does what it does was just unbelievable yeah Well, the, 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 the amazing thing about the Waza tube expander and the cool thing, even cooler than the product itself, is that it's obvious that they thought through every single step and stage of what the product is, and they solved the problems before they released the first version. And so a lot of stuff you see out here, there's prototypes and there's working prototypes and there's cool stuff that's going out, but there's already questions and potential flaws that are going to have to be fixed. Like, That's a lot of picks, That's John. Did you picks. swipe? Did you do some swipe? Did you, get, did you get a pick from every single NAM you've been to in the I last think you got years? twenty picks from every single. That's incredible. You should. That should never go out. That should never be revealed. Yeah. Maybe, I mean, yeah. there there's something to say for any press is good press. 
you know. But um, <laughs> but at the same time, if you if you release something that isn't finished, you really have to think about is it worth the exposure that that's going to bring or do we need to sit down and redesign and rethink this through before we really release something that we're proud of that we know is going to work oh, okay Bluetooth connection? Oh. Yeah. Cool. Well, with products, when you walk through NAM, there are certain things you go, eh, that's, that's not really solving a need that I've had. You know, I, yeah, hmm. I don't need a guitar where I can more easily change the neck out. Yeah. You know, I'm, I, yeah, it's a whammy neck. The, oh, that's interesting. That's handy. Yeah. Cool. Interesting. I could I could see that sort of handy, especially in the praise and worship industry if you're if you're changing patches you know <laughs> right yeah yeah totally yeah, yeah. well what, didn't john mayer have one of those like bluetooth rings that were like were like yeah. delay yeah yeah Yeah, I, I want something where I can change my patches with my by clicking my teeth, <laughs> <laughs> or I can do or tap tempo. What tap if you tempo. did a tap oh, tempo where yeah, you go? Click. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I will tell you a product that I saw that was really cool. Lance Seymour directed me to it. It is I don't remember what it's called. I got to pull it up on my phone. But here's what it does. So both of you guys would probably see benefit of this um when you're uploading to youtube to uh -huh. 
Spotify, yep. SoundCloud. They've all got different ways that they compress audio. Uh-huh. And there are certain things that will trigger the limiters on those things. Or they, they automatically normalize, you know, to whatever right. their crazy standards are. Right, right. So, New Gen Audio, they've got a, a program called Master Check. So, what that does is you put it in your chain and you select which source oh, you're going to be uploading it to wow. and it optimizes yeah. it for that that's cool and it'll take out certain problem areas and um very cool i thought that was that's a need that i've had so that's probably one of the coolest things i've seen here um really dug in andy elliott's amps the uh revenue or is it the revolver i can't remember anyway so those are the things i saw jonathan why don't you give us an outro? Let's let's do an outro here. I, if we could, with every head bowed and every eye closed, <laughs> all across the room, just lift a hand up. Now, if, this has been a fun. Uh, it's been fun hanging with you guys. I really uh, yeah, hope man. I didn't embarrass y'all too much. <laughs> I, I, I could have been down either way. So either way, I, I was ready. There you go. I don't hate that idea. <laughs> no, no, you are up here. <laughs> Randy, you did this last week. Thumb down. <laughs> You really, you, you're just really getting deep in here. I tell you what, are, are you like, is this John MacArthur over here? Really give <laughs> imparting some deep wisdom. Uh, well, this has been a uh, an enjoyable podcast, mm-hmm. uh, Curtis. I've really enjoyed getting to know you, yeah, man. Jonathan. Absolutely. I love you with all my heart, and I'm so glad that I got to spend this time with together with you. And uh, we'll just. Um, say until next time I, I maybe it's nam next 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 year and uh, what what's next year the 20 uh 2000 21 21 22 21 21 yeah. so uh, n- yeah i'm looking forward to it do go ahead you do your uh, curtis do you want to do an outro i can do an outro do an out let's all do one yeah well this has been really fun you guys it's been fun reviewing gear and uh, talking uh, about time travel and what it, what's, what it's going to mean to uh, be a NAM in 2121. So until next time, we're signing off. Can, can I do one more outro? My back and feet hurt. I'm ready to leave NAM. <laughs> I hate my life. I'm going home. I'm going to cut my wrist and bleed out in the tub. <laughs> yes. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Thank You're welcome. you, John. Thank you.